Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're working on a customer quilt. Her name is Kathy. She brings a few quilts here every now and again. And uh, this one was made for her. She made this one for herself. So uh, when we chatted, she said I had free reign to do whatever I wanted on this because it was for her. So I thought, you know, step it up a little bit, you know, since it is for her and it's so beautiful and so colorful. So the thread that I chose is called Haze. It's a mix between a purple and a blue. I'll, I'll show you so uh, the small camera so you can see it. And I'm stitching a very pretty Japanese flower in every square. And then I've got a nice little, um, what's it called here? It's called a swirl with a circle, I think, a stitch out that's gonna go across here in the sashings. And then I'm gonna do a nice circle border around on the edge with the corner. So you'll see that afterwards. So you can, uh, but this, this part will, uh, we're just gonna continue on, so. And wants to stitch in this corner right here. There we go. Yeah, so I programmed for each one in each square. So there's gonna be 90 Japanese flowers in these and on this quilt so far. And then the backing is this beautiful border right here. It's a big, huge chunk of it. It's lovely. Uh, I think it'll look stunning wherever she puts it. And I really wanted to make this um, quite beautiful for her. I consider she made, she's making it for herself. So it's always nice to know when they make them for themselves. Got to step it up just a little bit. <laughs> I feel. Increase the stitch out just a little bit. Sometimes I have it a little quieter if I'm watching something, so. It's a beautiful one. I love the colors that she chose. She said it was uh, Kathy Fabrics and um, something else, and she just loved mixing them two together, and there was no, there's no wrong. There's no wrong in quilting. If you wanna mix colors and patterns and artists, then you go right ahead. You do what you want to do. It's you're the artist. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? So that's stitching out in every single square. So I've got 15 done so far. This is number 16. And just working our way across. But we'll actually, well, we will work our way across. But <laughs> right now we're just working upwards. So. This measures uh, 67 by 67. I think it's pretty much square. I would think it'd be almost pretty square. Maybe 67 by 69. It's, it's pretty close, it's pretty close. And I just love how the thread has uh, popped up on the fabric. It's very bright and vibrant. It looks lovely. It's one of my favorites. And since I picked a tone from the border, as well as in the backing, I thought it would look really nice on the back as it's being a whole stitch out. So that beautiful uh, uh, flower uh, print out. Love that, that looks so pretty. When you stick the flower right in the center, it looks really quite lovely. I was trying to think of what to do, and there's some things that were just, there wasn't enough, and I didn't really just want to go skipping around the edge to edge to edge. I really wanted to, you know, add a really beautiful touch to it since she was keeping this for herself, and she was really, really excited about keeping it for herself, so. And since there seems to be a nice little circular and flower theme going on, uh, hence the circulars in the border, and then the flower themes in each of the squares, so. I didn't want to just put a circle there. I'm going to make some pretty flowers. So I was going to stitch up here in this beautiful uh, purple. Okay, I'm almost like purple tie-dyed sort of fabric though, don't you think? That looks lovely. And then it's going to stitch uh, something in here, so you'll see that. So just a few more minutes watching this one stitch out. It did come up with a couple of marks as I was putting it out, so I have some tied uh, erasers sitting there, so it's not like it's a... a um, Anything that we need to, I'm just uh, trying to uh, get the little marks out. So give it a good little scrubbing. 
So it's just got to dry, that's all. Hope everybody's having a fantastic Wednesday. It was a nice start to the school year. It was a bit foggy, misty the first day of school, but it was nice to see a bunch of shiny faces and happy faces to be back into the regular scheduled program. And, and yeah, and just keep trucking along. Look forward to Thanksgiving break. <laughs> Come on, October. <laughs> I just love the fabric she chose. It's just so bright and beautiful. Just pops right up at you and just says, hello, pay attention to me. It looks lovely. I love the blue too. And with these little flowers, with the way they stitch out, they just add their own little personality to the quilt itself, I think. And since she gives me free reign, I can do what I want. All right, now we're just gonna stitch up in here, this little space right in between all the way down to this little uh, corner stone that she's got going on, or sashing stone. Okay. We'll trim all these little ones that get caught in between as the project's getting sewn together. We'll trim those all along as we're going. So. Okay. This is cute little curvature for the sash. It looks lovely. I think it looks lovely. Just something a little bit different. Still adds with the circles and the curves that we have going on in this beautiful project. And then I can just lay them here and then keep going down and just section it all out. Maybe put one of those, these flowers, squish it right down into that little square right there. So easy peasy. We can do that via the software. It's so smart. Hmm. All right, so take care everybody. Uh, you'll see shortly after this uh, that I talk here that you'll see the circle being stitched out of the circle border and how it comes around the corner and all the way around to the other side. I'm just gonna wait for this couple little spots to dry and then I'll set the record for that, okay? So enjoy your Wednesday. Thank you very much for watching, liking and subscribing and checking us out on Patreon. We greatly appreciate it. And um, be sure to Hang out with us on our start of our brand new weekend project starting Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern when we do our live streams. Okay, free pattern. Just ask and we'll give it to you. All right, take care, everybody. Enjoy the day. Big hugs from us at the Mama Pop Quilt Shop.